The International Space Station now flying uh, 260 statute miles over northern Mongolia. And the progress uh, hooks are now driving open right on command. We'll be standing by for physical separation of the progress vehicle that uh, is located on the right side of your screen as the International Space Station passes into darkness. This view now from uh, an external television camera on the progress vehicle. You're looking at the docking target on the pier's docking compartment, which was first launched to the International Space Station back on September 2001. Standing by for physical separation of the two vehicles and undocking now confirmed right on time at uh, 8.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time, 9.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Eastern Time, Progress 54 is away. Slowly backing away at a rate of about a tenth of a meter per second. This uh, drift rate will continue uh, for the next three minutes until a separation burn of 15 seconds in duration is automatically commanded to increase the uh, departure rate by the Progress 54. By the end of the day, it will uh, wind up a safe distance away from the International Space Station, where Russian flight controllers will initiate about a week and a half's worth of uh, thruster uh, burn characterizations using ground radar equipment uh, in an engineering test uh, before the progress is disposed of and deorbited on April 18th. Here in the uh, flight control room, uh, the visiting vehicle officer, Richard Parker, reports to Flight Director Emily Nelson that the Progress uh, regained its uh, orientation control right on schedule as it uh, backed away from the International Space Station. So far, so good, as the Progress departs the international outpost that had been its home for the past two months. Once again, the undocking occurring at uh, 8.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time as uh, the International Space Station and the Progress 54 resupply craft, now loaded with trash, flew 260 statute miles over northern Mongolia. This uh, cross-air engineering view, uh, very familiar to viewers of Russian operations at the International Space Station here on NASA television. And uh, right on schedule, the progress thrusters uh, are now firing 15 second automated uh, burn to increase uh, the separation rate between itself and the International Space Station. Uh, Moscow Station on SG-1.
Go ahead. The um, docking mechanism has been inspected, no issues. We have taken photo imagery and placed it on OCA. Excellent, uh, Misha. Copy. I am prepared to proceed with closing the hatch on your go. Stand by. Uh, we will provide a go momentarily. Russian cosmonaut uh, Mikhail Turin talking to flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov as the ISS Progress 54 quickly departs uh, the neighborhood of the International Space Station. Turin reporting that uh, camera views uh, that uh, he was monitoring in the Zvezda service module indicated a clean piers docking port, which is good news uh, since that will be the port of call for the ISS Progress 55 resupply ship upon its arrival at the International Space Station on Wednesday afternoon. In Moscow, uh, Moscow okay. Station on SG-1. Go ahead. Uh, the uh, KVD valve is closed. Uh, also, uh, Misha, we have another request regarding Anyhow, the content of the uh, Kazan... This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, just to recap, uh, the ISS Progress 54 is on its way, having uh, undocked from the International Space Station a few minutes ago at 8.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time, 9.58 and 30 seconds a.m. Eastern Time as uh, the International Space Station flew 260 statute miles over northern Mongolia.